Hi everybody and welcome to the channel. Welcome back to another one of my course vlogs. Now this one is very very unique in the fact that I just rolled my ankle out here and I've had to play the last few of these holes in pain. But it's all for you guys, it's all for me. Hey, it's just a little bit of pain, we can deal with it. Love to see you back here week after week so please subscribe and like the video so I know you're out there. Let's head on out to the 10th hole. Some brutalities coming up. Here we go. Now, I don't know why I used the word brutality back then. It was a few months ago. I was in a lot of pain at that moment. And well, I guess that's just the adjective that came to my brain. Well, I actually played some good golf here on the back nine, so let's get right to it. Number 10, a par four straight up the hill. It's a little short one, and it's next to where the driving range used to be. It's all gonna be homes one day soon. This is straight up the hill though, so 340 yards is gonna be playing a lot farther, probably about 375, as this is the start of the mountain back nine. Now I thought there was enough room up there for my driver and I was confident with it today. I was getting that cut to work for me and it certainly cut just right out of the fairway and underneath this tree. I had to hit a punch shot off my back foot and I took a five iron, just really rolled this one up right to the front of the green and had a nice little up and down for par. These green surrounds and the greens themselves are absolutely fantastic. You know, this golf course was closed down for a few years and when the owners came in and bought it up, that's the first and only thing they did is remodel those greens and it makes up for the rest of the golf course. The rest of the golf course is just fine though. Like this 11th hole, it's the start of this par fours up here on the hill. It's a very awesome back nine. Now some target golf off the tee, avoid all those traps and you'll be down in the valley of this fairway and the green sits level with you from the fairway, and there's a lot of room to miss on the right-hand side, and it might just kick down onto the green for you. Now just flushing a two iron here off the tee, trying to get my 250 yard club to work for me, and it really did right down Main Street. Leave myself a comfortable sand wedge from 125 yards, I just pushed this one a little bit out to the right. I was pin high, but again, just off the green on those perfect surrounds. And I had enough chip shots today that I was really feeling confident with that club. Being able to consistently hit it up to about two feet where we don't even have to take out the putter is a great feeling to have. Now the first par three on the back nine, we're gonna be heading back up the hill again. 157 yards to the middle. It's gonna be a good five to 10 yard adjustment up the hill, depending on what hole location you're playing. And today we got one in the front. Now I hit that nine iron great, thinking I had enough to climb the hill all the way up there, but it just wasn't enough. Another one on the greens surrounds. I'm just using that 60 degree wedge over and over and over, trying to tap it up close enough that I don't need to use the putter. Another comfy tap in par. We're staying at level par. As we've leveled out on the back nine here, we're heading straight across the mountain ridges here. So we're gonna be playing up, down, and all around. This tee shot is gonna be downhill to the fairway and pretty level into the green. The bunker on the right is gonna serve as the main hazard off the tee, as anything down the left-hand side should funnel back down to the right and into the fairway. Another hazard on the right in those bunkers, but that rock outcropping just long will ricochet any shot that really does not get hit well. Now another flushed two iron off the tee for me. That was my confident club today. I really wasn't missing with anything. To the point that when I finally miss a shot and tug it left, I just instantly overreact. I have a different sort of expectation when I show up to courses with this kind of game and I really expect to make par after par after 
par and throw in a couple birdies, but don't throw in the bogeys, especially on those short missed putts. That's not what I want to see. Now, the toughest hole on the back nine is easily this 14th, a very long par four, 450 yards from the tips. But because of the mountain terrain, we're going severely down off the tee and just as severely back up into this green. A lot of extra yardage on your second shot or third shot into this green. It's perched way up on the left-hand side, and it's so difficult that it doesn't even need a bunker. Just the mountain is all it needs to make this hole hard. Now there was not much room to hit a cut down this hole, but that was the shot shape that I was hitting today. So I just had to trust it and trust that I could keep it somewhere in play. A very awkward lie with the ball well above my feet. And I was also on a downhill slope there. The thing was going to go left no matter what I tried to do. Now another one, ball below my feet. But this was perfectly overseeded, right? And it was a godsend to have another perfect lie underneath me. And with these perfect greens, well... You can see that ball rolling straight to the hole. Now, the first par five on the back nine is awesome. We're going to be heading up to the very top of the property by the time we hit the green as this one climbs all the way up. Now, it wraps around severely to the left-hand side, and if you miss your tee shot to the left, you might not lose your ball, and you might actually be cutting some distance off of this par five. As we really climb the hill, uh, this fairway snakes around all those rock, rock outcroppings. And man, that car path really chokes down that fairway as well. A perched little plateau green up on the right hand side. And we're gonna be facing this front right hole location. Now I tried to hit the turnover draw. After hitting a cut all day long, this ball went a little further left than I wanted it to, but it was perfect. Only 200 yards into the green. I'm hitting a six iron here. Well up the hill though. This is about 15 yards adjusted up the hill and I just nuked this thing left. Now the chip shot was up above on this little hill. I chipped it down towards the flag took a couple steps and stepped right into the sprinkler hole. Down I went. My God, I have never felt so much pain so quickly. I looked down and my ankle was the size of a golf ball, but my ball was also three feet from the hole for birdie. So I hobbled on down there and tapped it in for birdie and I just wanted to keep on going and see what could happen with the rest of this round. I figured I could walk around, so if I could transfer my weight to walk, I could see if I could transfer my weight to swing. And this here is the signature hole, the glorious 16th par 3 heading right down the hill to this green that's just perched on the middle of nowhere. Now this hole was playing 155 yards adjusted to the flag, and that should be a, a good hard pitching wedge for me. And for some reason, I decided to hit the pitching wedge when I had a bum ankle. Man, that was not a good decision. Well short of the green. Now we're gonna have to get up and down. I left this about 30 feet. Needless to say, my brain was not on the golf. I was just trying to make this work. And at this point, I knew I had only three to four full swings left to get home. The par 5 17th is another awesome, really gettable par 5. Downhill all the way, as opposed to the rest of this front nine where we've been climbing, it's finally time to take advantage of this mountain. Heading downhill off the tee, we have somewhat of a plateau fairway that ends at this tree and bush and then drops down significantly again towards this lower half 
of the fairway. Now it's gonna stay down on this lower plateau all the way towards the green. You cannot go left on any part of this hole. That slope is gonna take it all the way down 30 to 40 feet, and that's nowhere you wanna be. Now that was me taking as smooth a swing as I possibly could, and lo and behold, I hit a absolutely perfect drive right down the middle. Now that two iron wasn't quite as smooth as I wanted it to be, but I flushed the two iron also. If you don't see this, it's the size of a golf ball. Regardless, this is still an eagle putt. A nice little comfy tap in birdie. Now we've gone birdie, bogey, birdie since the injury and I'm back down to even par for the day. The last hole here used to be a par four and now it's only a par three. Making this course play to a par of 71. This finishing hole 18th is a brand new green and it's a glorious little par three to finish the day. Now at this point, my ankle had really started to swell up and I really could not swing with my foot planted. I made sure to raise it up during impact and I had another birdie putt as the result. One touch. Yes! <laughs> oh my God, yes! <sighs> oh. Subscribe, like the video, and we'll see you next time after my ankle heals up. Later.